Hello guys, welcome back to Seeds to Recap 4. Here I am with Icarus, uh, and we're going to cast next game of uh, Archon, uh, Super, uh, Archon Zelay versus uh, Complexity Super JJ. Hey Icarus, how you doing? What's up, man? Yeah, I'm doing fine, and uh, I'm pretty interested in how this matchup will go, and um, yeah. They both play uh, Hunter Druid Pala Warrior, mm -hmm. and uh, Super JJ banned the Warrior from Zelay, and the lay the uh, Paladin mm -hmm. from Super JJ. Who do you think is in favor here? Well, definitely it depends on uh, what kind of warrior this is. But I think if this is a Grim Patron, uh, the Grim Patron has been working really, really, really well this tournament. I mean, Zale, for example, free owed me. But yeah, we can actually jump back into the game. And, oh, I cannot spectate Super JJ. Uh, maybe that could work. Uh, we can get production uh, to let the guys let us spectate. Uh, yeah. So we actually have to wait a little bit. Um, can we get Super JJ to let us? Yeah, spectate. Okay. Just getting in. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah. Um, this lineup, uh, what do you think Icarus is, uh, are the guys going to play first? If you have to look at the lineup. So I think um, if the warrior isn't bent out, um, I think Saleh can start with a, yeah, with a uh, paladin and Super JJ probably... <laughs> With the hunter, yeah. <laughs> with the hunter, SSG. with the hunter, yeah, SSG. yeah, seems seems pretty fair, and this actually seems to be like some mid range version of hunter uh, of a paladin, but still with the secrets, right? So uh, s probably we can expect something like Belcher, so we can still expect probably Doctor Six uh, because we see the gr uh, we see the secret there, but I would not expect something like secret uh, secret keeper. Yeah. Okay, so this is actually pretty, pretty fast start here. Uh, I mean, Super JJ can play his Glaive Zuka just to test out, uh, but no, he decided to go for Mad Scientist. Mad Scientist is definitely better play if you think this is not going to be an noble sacrifice, and indeed it isn't, so definitely, definitely good thing for Super JJ here. Yeah, the start obviously uh, favors Super JJ with a 1 and a 2 drop, and uh, you don't usually want to have only the um, secret as a parlor. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the Haunted Creeper, pretty good pickup here for Zelay. He's gonna be able to, uh, like, you know, combo it out with Knife Juggler, maybe something like Cog Hammer. But Glaivesuka here is pretty strong, and that Pallet of Treader that was drawn last turn uh, is probably gonna be significant because he didn't have a play for next turn, and now he has it. Yeah, he curves out pretty well here. Okay, so Zelay here has some decisions to make. I mean, he definitely can go something like Pallet of Treader. Uh, with a coin, but and he can trade the leper gnome, but he's leaving a lot of damage on board, and he probably want to keep his coin for the mysterious challenger. Uh, so we can also expect something like just maybe trade, uh, play the other peacekeeper, or if he feels lucky enough, uh, he can play the knife juggler, or even the cog hammer is pretty good though. Yeah, maybe he can trade and play uh, the cog hammer afterwards, so he has a one-one taunt. I think this is pretty fine. Yeah, a lot of decisions. Yeah, uh, the knife juggler. He has to be, um, yeah, That's pretty be lucky. Uh, it's a uh, 50-50, so he has three uh, knives with a hero power with a coin to uh, hit the uh, two health minion, and that's 50-50. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he indeed decides to go for uh, the Kog Hammer. He's probably gonna ki uh, kill the Met Scientist, I would expect. Uh, yeah, killing the Leper Gnome first, just yeah. in case of the Snake I Trap. And we see the Freezing Trap here. I think this is interesting. Uh, to um, not trade the uh, Haunted Creeper in first, and I would uh, value the uh, Divine Shield more here, and uh, yeah, mm. so um, he has a weaker taunt. I don't know about it. It's kind of interesting. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit definitely worse against exa exactly the Freezing Trap. Yeah. Uh, on the other hand, it was still a little bit better against, for example, Explosive Trap, right? So, I mean... Uh, actually, against the Explosive Trap, you can still kill with the Glaive Zuka. Uh, I'm not really sure about that, uh, but yeah, the Zale is still, his curve is still pretty good. Uh, he has the Mysterious Challenger for next turn, if he wants to keep his coin here. Um, but 
what do you do about this shredder? I, you definitely don't attack, right? You just want to keep this with a taunt up and hopefully see what's up. So here comes the attack. Now he knows that opponent uh, didn't have explosive trap. Just play the other peacekeeper avenge. And yeah, next turn, next turn, do uh, Doctor Six is pretty good. Yeah, on the other hand, the uh, um, Hunter has uh, also here uh, a few options with the uh, Cane Golem and the uh, Animal Companion. Uh, I s uh, probably think um, going with the uh, Animal Companion is the right thing. Now he can trade in with a uh, uh, Shredder if he wants to. Um, yeah, he doesn't know exactly about the secrets at the moment. Um, and maybe he doesn't even want to uh, t trade in here um, in this turn, so he can wait for the next turn to yeah. not um, proc the avenge. Definitely, I mean, uh, he doesn't have like it does. He doesn't know that it's this avenge. Uh, it still can be some other secrets, but avenge at this point are pretty like is pretty pretty possible, right? Yeah. We he hasn't seen like this could be still avenge. This could be still avenge. So uh, he decides not to attack here. Uh, it's pretty safe play, but I think it's a correct play here, definitely. And Slay, now he can play Dr. Six, but Dr. Six is not going to give him that many secrets, right? He's going to just get four of them. Uh, he might decide to wait a little bit for that. He could go something like Knife Juggler uh, with a Potted Shredder here. It's still pretty strong. He develops a big board. He still gets some juggles of uh, the Hound Creeper and of the sh Shredder. Um, but I think you definitely, if you want to go with this line of play, you have to kill the Leoc. And that would mean that you might not even be able to get those Hunter Creeper sh uh, snipes because of the Freezing Trap. Yeah, would you trade here in um, with the Hunter Creeper first so um, to kill the Leoc? Um, I think I would, I would play like Knife Juggler Shredder first. Let's see where the, like... Where it goes, or I, I, I mean, Mr. is Challenger is still an option, right? Yeah. Uh, so might as well just go for it's that. Challenger is always an option. <laughs> yeah. Doctor Six on turn five is still pretty good, and we have a Christmas tree here. Complete one. Uh, on the other hand, Slay, even though he established pretty pretty strong board, he still has only fourteen health. Uh, I mean, the taunt is kind of annoying. There's a noble sacrifice that's gonna uh, counter one attack as well. So the minions will probably not do much damage this turn. But we see the kill command in the hand. Uh, we see the arcane golem in the hand of uh, Super JJ. So there's big potential of burst. And since Super JJ is on 28 health, he's not that scared of dying right now. Yeah, this is definitely uh, a good option with the arcane golem and the kill command. Um, but uh, if the avenge triggers on the um, haunted creeper after you go into the noble sacrifice, you have a bit of a problem as the hunter. So he goes with the high man first. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. Like uh, I'm, I'm, I wasn't saying to play both of them now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just like in the future he has a lot of first potential. Yeah. But uh, he could have done this when uh, got uh, like 11 damage to the face. Okay, mm -hmm. so here Zelane wow. needs to play around the freezing trap. So he decides to uh, sack his Aldor Peacekeeper first. I mean, he can use it now to Aldor, for example, Hymen if he feels like it. Uh, it's going to be pretty strong because because after you kill that Leoc, that Hymen is going to be 1-1 one, one and you can just ignore it. And before it actually spawns, you know, those uh, two more uh, small hyenas, it will take another turn. So that can be totally ignorable. Um, so how do you decide to trade here? Uh, do you just like kill the Leoc with your... Uh, Challenger, I mean, you sack seven damage, and that's a lot of damage to sack, to be honest. I mean, he might just decide to go face. I think I like this a little bit more because you're on you're racing right now, the hunter, right? Uh, you have to race him, and you have to hope uh, he's not gonna kill you soon enough. But this quick shot is pretty, pretty powerful thing. He can do how much damage can he do this turn actually? Um, because this hurricane golem does five damage. This is uh, another five. So the quick shot actually doesn't matter much because you can you cannot squeeze it in, mm -hmm. and quick shot hero power does only five damage as well. Um, so yeah, he can't kill him right now, mm -hmm. but um, I think he can push him down to two HP. But then again, he might he die. 
He might die, yeah. Yeah, there's still a bench possible here, so if something dies, uh, some of those minions are gonna get buffed up. I mean, Lotep pr pr protects you from some, uh, from uh, some like spells damage, but I think attacking here would be actually like almost killing yourself. So, uh, not attacking here is definitely the correct way. Uh, there's uh, still 12 damage on board, so. Finding 5 damage for uh, Paladin is pretty hard. They usually only burst that they have is something like Blessing of Kings. Uh, they have like True Solar Champion. Mm. And other than that, uh, finding that one more damage that you would need for that would require usually 4 more mana. It would require uh, Consecration or another Blessing of Kings and stuff like yeah. that. So I absolutely pretty agree. smart yeah. from Super JJ here. Um, yeah, now the Paladin I think has to trade. Um, he could go with Dr. Boom, but then he is very weak to Unleash, but uh, then again he was the turns before also a bit weak to Unleash. Um, so um, I guess he kills the Leorg and uh, also lowers Sep with a 7-7 seven seven mm -hmm. and plays Dr. Seven. Dr. Seven indeed, and uh, Super GG will definitely need Unleash the house here, and he doesn't get it. Um, what can you do here? How much damage you actually can do? This is... Fifth, uh, this is five. This is yeah, that should be lethal, right? I mean, if you oh, there's a noble sacrifice still. Oh uh, no, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is exactly seven damage. Uh, so yeah, uh, Super JJ is going to take the game number one, and I mean Hunter, you just smork, 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 and you're doing it. Yeah, I don't know uh, if the Hunter is uh, more smoky thing or the <laughs> or the secret parlor. Mm -hmm. But yeah, both um, decks have a high potential in this uh, format to 3-0 uh, the opponent. Definitely. And here now for Slay. Uh, this means for Slay that he cannot play his Paladin anymore. Uh, he will have to go with his own Hunter or his Druid. To, um, like it depends on him, but I think uh, it really kind of matters about like which uh, Druid he has. Uh, the Druid usually been kinda unfavorite in this matchup, uh, but after Darnas Esperant came into the game, um, a lot of people actually think that Druid is favorite in this matchup right now, or it's still 50-50. Uh, but at least it's always 50-50. But no, he decides to go straight up for Hunter, and it's going to be Hunter Smork mirror match. Yeah, now we have the Hunter mirror match. Is this um, from the lay? Is it? Uh more aggressive type, yeah. With a yeah, it seems that way of a Morgan infiltrator. infiltrator. Mm -hmm. So definitely in this matchup, like usually if you're playing hunter mirror match, you want to be the faster one, right? Because right. if you're faster one, you're putting the tempo first, you're getting damage first, and uh, it's about the race. Like it's that's all about it usually. But uh, then again, the starting hand is not too optimal with uh, only one minion and. Uh, no Lepanome and uh, no abusive to follow up, or no mad scientist. Um, and yeah. So d do you expect uh, Zelay to probably? He's gonna definitely toss one weapon out. He's gonna definitely t uh, toss the uh, kill command out, right? Uh, uh, so he will definitely need some uh, more minions to establish the board yep. early on. Uh, Super JJ, he's keeping the mad scientist only. Oh, this is actually starting hand for Zelay. He yeah, got exactly. it after the mulligan. Uh, I meant. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Missed that one. But he has a start, one drop. He will get a chance to get a two drop next turn. If he doesn't get it, he still has that Slave Zuka, which is pretty, pretty good here. Um, Leper Gnome, on the other hand, uh, that could be still a pub, right? Like you just play Glaive Zuka, attack face with your Wargan, then you kill the Mad Scientist, coin out the Leper Gnome. Next turn, you uh, give you, uh, like your Leper Gnome back to your hand. and. Ex like this trap, explosive trap, is definitely better in this mer uh, in this matchup. Yeah, I absolutely agree. Um, with the leper gnome, uh, it's getting a much better hand here mm -hmm. for the lay. And to be honest, the weapon, the second weapon, is not that weak as well. I mean, uh, a lot of the times, whoever gets the weapon first uh, usually is able, because of those you know secrets that will come out after that, uh, will get a lot of you know attacks into face with it. And as we already said, this matchup is all about the face. 
Uh, and <laughs> because of that, Super JJ is getting his Huffer here, which is not definitely bad here, uh, because one Freezing Trap will get rid of one of the minions, and then uh, Slave will be probably forced maybe to even to trade one of the other minions or take four more damage with his weapon. Uh, and any like uh, none of those things is actually preferable, right? Yeah, it's not preferable, but um, I think as a faster hunter, you can actually take the mm -hmm. four extra damage and uh, well follow it up with a mad scientist or even play the lepanome again. Play, play the lepanome again. Okay, so let's see what Zulay decides to do here. Um, so he decides to actually go with the war again. Uh, Borgen gets back into his hand, more expensive than ever, and now, what does he trade with? I mean, you put yourself on 20 health, uh, if you trade uh, with your face, uh, so because of that he decided to go and trade the Leper Gnome here, and now it's all about the Mad Scientist or the Worgen Infiltrator again. He's probably gonna go for Volgren. So yeah, it's better for the curve. Mm -hmm. ne exactly. Next turn he can just maybe go like Mad Scientist, Hero Power, you know, squeeze the Hero Power in. That's pretty important in this matchup as well. So, this is pretty awkward turn for Super JJ. Don't worry, love. The cavalry yeah, but with the top deck uh, of the Argent Horseman, it's a uh, horse rider, it's... Um, yeah, it was a decent one. Yeah, it was a decent one. He definitely wanted to maybe get like a two drop and hero power squeeze or something like maybe, you know, uh, one drop, or maybe two drop and glaze. I don't know. It was a little bit awkward, but this card is so good in the mirror match because you have to kind of clear twice. Uh, so because of that, uh, he's getting a lot of value. Uh, and opponent is actually going to ignore that, definitely. So Cleve Zuka comes on the board that grants one more damage for this war, uh, rider and top deck Lepernome was really really important here because now he can be mana efficient, he can do as much damage to face as possible and Cleve Zuka here uh, putting Zelay on 15 and kinda 13 health with the Lepernome on board already. Yeah and with the Akin Golem and the Quick Shot he has another uh, 7 damage on hand which is not too bad actually. It's not too bad, exactly. And yeah, two more with a weapon. So um, it's getting pretty close here. It's getting pretty close indeed. Um, what Zelay can do here, though, is something like, you know, he can equip the weapon. Uh, he can play Explosive Trap or maybe, you know, sec even his Mad Scientist if he only plays Explosive Traps in his deck into the Horse Rider, uh, play the Hero Power attack phase. And if he has the Explosive Trap there, you know, there's more... Yeah, okay, so this is probably going to mean that he gets explosive... Oh, no, he gets snake trap there. Uh, so, I mean, that's not bad either, right? Because, actually, even if uh, your opponent decides that he will uh, kill the Worgen Infiltrator before he wants to sack that explosive trap and kill all his minions out, uh, super, uh, Zelay is going to get three more snakes. And either way, uh, he's getting the um, weapon charges mm -hmm. for the next turn. So... Yeah, I think the faster hunter is here uh, again the favorite. Yeah, and we can also see that Slay has a lot of burst potential in his hand. He has like Arcane Golem, he has the Quick Shot, he has the Kill Command in case the snakes actually come up. Uh, so because of that, as we've been saying, right, a Super JJ does uh, decide not to attack. He doesn't want to get that uh, Eghorn Bow charge back. Uh, so Zelay would have more damage from his weapon and this is kind of annoying because I mean even if he goes face next turn he has that 6 ma uh, six damage, 7 high main this kind of you know awkward to but deal with but with the uh, Icon Golem and uh, the Quick Shot or the Kill Command he can push him down to 2 HP and mm -hmm. then uh, there's no comeback in the Hunter so uh, I guess Zelay um, had won this yeah so we can see the Arcane Golem probably going face Quick Shot the high main, I would expect. Oh, Quick Shot face because he has the explosive. Oh yeah, he, he 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 actually has yeah the explosive trap there, right? So he can yep. actually kill command face, and yeah, this is gonna mean that snakes come on board. That doesn't matter, uh, but if you want to go face, you need to draw uh, that flare, which was not there. Probably nobody really plays flare here. Um, I actually died to Flare at DreamHack uh, Bucharest. I was I was surprised. 
<laughs> but yeah, uh, so no flare here for Super JJ, and that means that uh, Zelay is gonna tie the series one to one. And uh, Super JJ will prob we can probably expect Warrior from him, I would say. I mean, Warrior is usually really good against that fast paced. Uh, uh, fast pace hunter. Grim Patron is a little bit worse, uh, but it's still pretty good with your whirlwinds. You know, we still have armor smith. We s we can sometimes see something like shield blocks in those decks. Mm -hmm. uh, so, oh, it's also looks like it's actually it's control, control warrior. That's even better. Um, I don't know if it's really better. It's uh, I th would say the matchup is actually uh, nearly the same. Mm -hmm. It's uh, played out a bit differently, but uh, I think the win rates are nearly the same. Or do you think uh, do you think that the uh, control warrior is more favored than the patron? I, I think a little bit, yeah. I okay. think a little bit. Like uh, sometimes, w how you can lose this matchup as control warrior is if you don't have that fire war axe in your hand. But we can even see that the fire war axe is there. Uh, so this is a really good start for uh, Super JJ, I would say. Okay, so Leopard Gnome isn't too bad, but unfortunately for Zelay, he doesn't have a way, like, he doesn't have a minion to play next turn. Yep. And if he misses that opportunity to play a minion, uh, that will mean that he's going to be really, really behind. Yeah, so um, both players have no... Oh, actually the Haunted Creeper comes up from the top. Yeah, and the Haunted Creeper is actually really annoying for Warrior, because, I mean, you can charge it and you can cut with your uh, hero power. I mean, Fiery War X, but if you don't have the Taskmaster, you're actually making more damage on board. Fortunately for Super JJ, he got that Taskmaster. He got a minion on board, which can uh, like deal with other minions that will come yeah. up. Both and players are really good at top thinking here. Yeah, they're, they're drawing really, really well. And here for Zelay, Zelay has some options to consider, right? Uh, he can play his Animal Companion and be kind of greedy, because if a Huffer comes up, you're not in really good shape. But Misha would be good and Leah could be pretty decent as well. So he could decide for that um, more risky line of play. He decided not to play it just safe with the horse rider, which will, you know, put pressure on the board and still keep your minion alive. And Zelay drew the weapon, which weapon is usually in this matchup really important. But not right now. I think Animal Companion, you need to build that board. And Leok uh, makes trade possible here. Yeah, it's a pretty good uh, animal companion here. I think it's probably uh, probably it was the best because uh, with the Misha you don't want to trade and then mm -hmm. uh, the Bash clears the Misha uh, with the uh, Acolyte and yeah, now um, it's kind of awkward to clear the uh, Leok. Yeah, the Leok is definitely here uh, kind of annoying because, uh, you know, you could like bash and shield slam him, but then you're using two removals to destroy one minion. And those two removals in this matchup are actually really important because for mana, one mana, get rid of, you know, 4 2 or something like that is quite nice. Usually in bash, exactly the same thing. And firework is kind of useless here. He would rather definitely have Dead Spite or something like that yeah, in I this matchup. So, can we expect like something like firework kill the small smi spider hero power? I would expect that, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we see that, and this is a window of opportunity for Zelay. If Zelay gets something uh, pretty strong here, he would be really ahead, but Glaive's UK is not gonna cut it, I think. He still needs a little bit more help. Yeah, with Unleash the Hounds is a mm -hmm. really card you don't want to have in this matchup in the hand, uh, in the earliest stage, and even later on not. <laughs> yeah. What I mean, mean, he can Glaive Zuka here, put out the Haunted Creeper. Um, uh, it's not something ideal, but I guess uh, it will work out. Uh, you definitely swing with the weapon because you have another be weapon in your hand. Uh, and putting Super JJ on 17 sounds pretty good, but on the other hand, Death Spite here is pretty good too. So here, yeah, uh, here he top decks the Death Spite, and uh, yeah, I would actually agree to play this. Mm -hmm. You could also uh, go in with a. Uh, First charge of uh, with the second charge of your weapon and bash, but um, yeah, I think the despite is maybe a bit more valuable because uh, you can clear in the next turn the haunted creeper uh, with the second charge completely, and then armor up with the bash. Yeah, yeah. Th what's really nice here about despite is that 
Uh, exactly, you can clear that creeper as you said, and then even though you're still on 14, maybe you're like 11, 11 health after the attacks, uh, you have that bash, you have that armor up hero power, right? So yep. you can tank up and, you know, be, be in quite a good spot. And Abusive Surgeon is really not a draw you want to see, because Abusive Surgeon, if you play it, I mean, sure, you'll get that 2 damage of it, but then it's just gonna die to the Death Spite that was equipped this turn. Yeah, so now uh, he, he has maybe only the option to uh, replay a weapon after attacking in. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I absolutely agree that I don't want to um, play here the abuse of sergeant and yeah, unleash, <laughs> you can't even do that. And yeah, um, so he has a pretty weak hand here and I think uh, that this is... Uh, yeah, now it really looks good for the, um, for the warrior. warrior. So uh, now he plays his abusive to get the two damage in here. Well, it's uh, better for the mana curve, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, it doesn't do anything else. So I don't know. You uh, can do this, but yeah. So now, what do you do? Uh, do you bash the um, creeper and go face? Yeah. Yeah, I, th I think you bash the creeper. You know, you wanna. You're on 7 health, it's not that healthy as you would like. So you try to get as much armor as possible. Uh, he can also tank up, he's now back to 12. It's not a terrible spot to be in, but the weapon itself is just 6 damage, right? The hero power uh, pretty much counters your own hero power. Uh, so if your opponent is going to be efficient with his hero power, uh, that is going to leave a mark there definitely morgan infiltrator here is actually pretty nice here as well because you cannot shoot slam that uh morgan infiltrator so morgan infiltrator is two damage it will go through and uh yeah oh the second bgh second Interesting. that second bgh here i mean you definitely will probably play it so just to get one million board yeah. uh you definitely want to tank up but you have nothing else to do and that Warrigan Infiltrator might be actually clutch, because if that would be like Knife Juggler, Knife Juggler would be totally pointless and useless, and you wouldn't be able to get anything out of it. But that Warrigan Infiltrator, because he's stealth, you cannot shield slam it, and you cannot, you cannot, clear, your, you cannot clear it, and... Yeah, uh, now the Hunter is one damage of lethal. Yeah, because of that, one damage of lethal. Didn't top deck this. So, um, yeah, you can go face here with a, a two one and uh, play... Probably the mad scientist and hero power. Um, I don't know if you. I don't think you actually want to play uh, to attack in with a um, weapon. Uh, I don't actually know how many weapons uh, they lay play, so um, it depends on this. Uh, if yeah. he thinks that uh, another weapon top deck could give him lethal next turn. Um, but yeah, here he has one damage of Lisa and uh, he has like a two turn clock and when Alex comes down, uh, the warrior comes back to health and uh, has a high chance to win this. Yeah, I mean, uh, on the other hand, for Super JJ though, like if Super JJ w survives one more turn, there can come out that crazy dragon Alex Traza, the element of, uh, I don't even know, red dragons. Element of uh, life, I think. She's the element of life, right? Uh, so, uh, if S Super JJ manages to survive one more turn, he could be in a good spot. But, oh, is Belcher clutch? I think it's pretty clutch here. Um, I mean, you can play the Belcher, you can armor up, and mm, you can still it. use the Shield Slam to remove one of those minions. And because of Super JJ being able to play a big game until last turn, he c with that, uh, he can actually remove another minion off the board. So it's going to be really, really tough uh, for Zelay to go through that yeah. uh, Belcher and unless he top decks the owl. And you absolutely want to um, attack with the ha uh, big game hunter here first to uh, clear the um, animal and... Um to uh, give him no out for um, like kill command to finish the game. Yeah, he definitely wanted to destroy uh, the beast there on the board just so, so the kill command doesn't gets kill you. His next weapon, mm -hmm. but um, yeah, it seems like it's too late. And um, with Alex Strasser next turn, the warrior has a pretty high chance to win this game. Yeah, definitely. What actually warrior can even do? He can like attack first, you know, put himself onto health if that's explosive. 
uh, and then he can like stress as I get back to 15 and that's when all the hunter's dreams just die and you feel bad about yourself and about your life and about everything you've done in your life uh, so yeah it's something we're probably gonna see here uh, here comes the attack and after that following by Alex Straza uh, healing Super JJ to 15 health and now uh, I mean Zilla is still not out of it uh, if he would have like some good draws like maybe Arcane Golem you know with that Glaive Zuka hero power he still can so just smorg the opponent down, but knife checker, I don't think he's gonna cut it right now. Um, it's kind of like yeah, it's really slow. Yeah, it's it's really slow. You want something just to go face. Yeah, and now um, he thinks about uh, if he w really wants to play it, and um, well, he could heal power first That's because this is obvious, mm -hmm. and yeah. He uh, wants to play everything and just go face. Yeah, just go Attack face. The face. Uh, so, so now you actually can play a Baron Geddon. Well, with the uh, Armor Smith, it's not too bad, but uh, you actually don't need to play the Armor Smith right now. You mm -hmm. um, the hunter has nothing to kill you next turn, except maybe a quick shot into. Uh, Quick shot into like Huffer maybe. How is that? Do like if if you play if the armor play smith with par uh, Baron Geddon or just armor with Baron Geddon, you're yeah. still gonna be on 11 health, right? So we can see. So Glaive Zuka does two damage. Uh, steady shot does two damage. So you're on seven health. So yeah, it would have to be something like quick shot into, into Arcane Golem or, or Huffer. Animal companion, yeah. yeah. So he decides to go for it. Uh, he probably might not even play the armor smith because it's just like unleash the hounds would do yeah, one more no damage. Uh, mm -hmm. You armor up to uh, you get two armor and yeah. And another knife juggler. This is just sad for Zulay. This means that he's going to lose his second game here to Super JJ and Super JJ is in lead to one, and Zulay's druid will have to pull this out. Pull this one out. Yeah, but the druid can really uh, pull it out. Uh, the Druid can win versus a uh, uh, warrior and uh, versus a uh, mirror match the Druid. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting still. Yeah, it really matters like what kind of Druid it is, right? Uh, yeah. Like, we've been seeing lately a lot of aggro yeah, Druid. The aggro Druid is uh, a bit weaker versus a uh, um, control warrior and, um, yeah, if yeah. it's a uh, mid range Druid, I think. It's like probably uh, a bit more. F uh, it's a whether the warrior. It's a bit favorite, but uh, not too much with the bashers. Um, it yeah. quite gets pretty close. Yeah, and I have to agree here uh, that uh, fortunate, like fortunately for Zelay, he's playing the mid range version because yep. the aggro version when Doesn't you just run. you know play that fell reaver and your opponent is like playing three cards and after that he executes the fell reaver, you just feel bad. But here Zelay, he plays the mid range version with wild growth. He's pretty good root player if he draws wild growth. Uh, before his mulligan either. So definitely something for Zilei that's going for him. Uh, Super JJ here, he has uh, not really exciting starting hand. I mean, you in this matchup as a warrior, you want to get those weapons. You want to get that Fiery War X for their NAS Aspirants. You want to get the Dead Spite, you know, for those bigger minions. So at least he gets the Dead Spite and has he has the Bash as well. Uh, so in case there would be something like... Uh, oh, not so, yeah. A double wild growth in hand of Zelay. I mean, he can actually just go for like uh, coin wild growth into innervate Azure Drake into Shredder. That sounds pretty good. And then he still has wild growth if he needs it later on. I would pull the plug here. I would go for the. Like, this is so aggressive, and being aggressive in this matchup is really good. Yeah, you could also go for the um, coin innervate uh, Shredder, but. Uh I agree that uh, you want to uh, to play next. Oh, oh goes he goes with a double white. Yeah, he even goes for double white growth to uh, play next turn the shredder. Yeah, double white growth means that he's going to play uh, next shredder. I mean, it's a little bit weaker to fire war X or like bash, uh, but um, it's definitely gonna you know use that valve growth. Uh, otherwise, the valve growth would be probably stuck in Zelay's hand like till the end of times. 
Uh, but so he drops the super. Uh, he drops the shredder here, which is gonna get countered by Bash. And uh, I mean, Zilei has a follow up. Oh my god, oh, this, this is, is really great. clutch. Yeah. yeah, this is really clutch because if Zilei didn't get uh, this Enoyotron here, the Dead Bite would definitely destroy the Azure Drake itself. But because of this, uh, he can now he's now probably forced to use the Shield Slam even as a removal. Um, and not equipping the weapon might hurt him in the long run because now. Next turn, he won't have like maybe the uh, shield slam that he would need for that emperor that is going yeah. to come up. And emperor, on, like making cheaper double savage roar, and with like vi big odds that it's gonna survive one more turn. That's pretty crazy here. Yeah, and so uh, <laughs> he can actually do <laughs> <be> this. <with> <laughs> just when we said that, <laughs> just when we said that, here comes the shield slam top deck. I mean, you can even like, wow! Oh my god. Super JJ is drawing really well in the series. Yeah, this top deck was absolutely insane. But and then again, the um, Annoyatron was ob uh, also insane. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, both players uh, have been really lucky. Yeah, now the um, living sucks. woods are not too great. <laughs> you don't want to play this in the uh, charge of the despite. So you only play the shade and. Uh, yeah, the Druid has to run out of cards, and this is a big problem for it. Yeah, th this is one of those problems when, you know, uh, your hand is full of y that ramp, those wild growths, those innervates, is that if you don't draw that Asian of Lore that will replenish your hand, uh, you're gonna be so behind eventually that um, you're not gonna have cards. Like, like open is just gonna outvalue you, and we can see it right now. Uh, so Sylvanas comes on the board, Sylvanas is uh, gonna contest those few minions, and oh my god, Force of Nature, double Savage War for 10 mana, uh, possible in some future turns, uh, that's that's pretty strong here for Zelay. Uh Just that itself means 22 damage in the future if he has nothing on board. If he keeps that shade like uh, growing for a few more turns, he could even uh, make that... Uh, he could even make that uh, more damage, but on the other hand... Yeah, the warrior has a Baron Gen next turn with a, a charge of the Despite. He could clear the shade. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, if the uh, Druid plays nothing, this could really be an option. And I don't really know what the Druid here wants to do. And uh, I mean, even, even though, like, uh, even if he doesn't clear that shade, the problem is there's like Shield Maiden, uh, there's like sludge belcher. There's like so much stuff that uh, this combo, even though it's sick, it's probably not gonna be enough. Yeah, and, uh, he plays a sludge belcher, so um, he always has the savannas to eventually get the uh, shade. Exactly, he can eventually just steal the shade. Unfortunately for Super JJ, he cannot steal uh, the shade with like shield slamming his own Sylvanas anymore because he already used both of those. And wow, Slay's hand is just sad. I mean, he has that like, you want to put pressure against the warrior, but how do you put on pressure if you have no minions in your hand? Maybe you need to play something like Living Roots and hope that the. Uh, Vibe doesn't. Uh, I mean, li I living roots. Living roots with the death by uh, and you kill the uh, Sylvanas and you hope that the he uh, gets the one one. Okay, okay, I can see that. But I mean, ooh. But then again, uh, he has nothing to deal with the sludge and with the second sludge and yeah. And if he gets the shade, it's hopefully it's just, just game over. over. Yeah, that the game would be just over if that would happen. Uh, so. Yes, it seems like uh, Zlay is thinking about the swipe. He's just gonna hero power the sh uh, this uh, sludge belcher there, get the small slime out, and I mean he's setting it up for, yeah, probably probably even the living roots just to kill that. Oh, he decided not to do that eventually, and yeah, I mean sure the combo is nice, um, but that's probably not gonna be for a while, right? Um, what else you kind of want to do here? Yeah, did he actually do Europe here and to? Not I, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure if Europe. I, th I think he didn't want to maybe use the living roots because he's not gonna play the combo next turn anyway, right? I mean, he might, but well probably it's not. Um, yeah, it's certain. Uh, hmm. 
Oh, so this keeper, I mean, this keeper sounds good. But the problem with this keeper is that you would probably want to uh, keeper the sludge belcher. But if you do that, Sylvanas ch can just run into that keeper. And with the hit of Dead Spite, it will kill the Sylvanas and your shade will get stolen. Uh, so this is not an option. Uh, the other option that we can have here is just keepering the Sylvanas, obviously. But then you have the combo, you have the burst in your hand. Uh, but how do you get through those taunts that are there? So, I mean, definitely has to. It has to silence. Oh, he's silencing. Okay, this this means that he's probably. Ooh. Interesting. This is interesting because Super JJ now can just steal the shade. Yeah. If he feels like it. Yeah, he needs to. Yeah. And with the armor, with the armor smith, smith even. Oh my God! This is so much armor that he gets from it. Oh. I'm and with the Alex Straza, he's only two damage. I was not it. expecting this. I was definitely not expecting this. Oh yeah, the Alex Straza here is definitely an option as well. You can put the droid on 15 health, uh, then steal the shade. You know, I'm, I mean, probably Alex Straza after that if you want to do that. Uh, but oh, actually no, no, no. You have to Alex Straza first. I mean, the one damage is not gonna matter that much. Um, you can even go face. No, I, I like this trade much more. I like this trade much more. Stealing, stealing the shade. Uh, putting up final 7 health, and yes, Lei with his combo of 22 damage is not going to be enough because Warrior is still healthy on his 33. Yeah. So Super JJ did it, and congrats yeah. to him. Definitely, definitely, definitely well played by uh, both the players. Lei got kind of unlucky in his last game when he just didn't have anything to play. He had like double combo in hand, which was actually cheap. But that was it. Uh, I think really what was clutch in this game was that the top deck of the Shield Slam for Super JJ. Really well played for both sides. And this means that we're going to have after this match, winner's match of this group, which is going to be Super JJ against... Um, do we know who made who won the first match? Pa against Powder. Against Powder. So don't go anywhere. Uh, we'll s uh, show you the next match just in a few minutes. And uh, yeah, thanks, thanks for watching. Exactly. Have a great day.